Welcome to Mike Ferry TV. It is, of course, the week of April 1st. I want to say thank you. You guys and gals sent us so many great suggestions as to what you'd like to see on Mike Ferry TV. And about half of them were suggestions that were duplicates of each other. About probably 50% of the rest were very, very technical topics that would only take possibly one show to cover. But about 25% of them really talked about, Mike, can you help us with more of the specifics of what it takes to become a better salesperson? So I took that 25%, which represented probably 70% when you take everything together, and said, okay, let's take that topic. And what we're going to do is we're going to, over the course of the next 22 weeks, it's a long series, pay attention, a lot of participation, a lot of watching, a lot of learning, a lot of energy and enthusiasm on your part to make this happen. So let's be very close attention to the fact that we're going to spend 22 weeks from now, April 1st, through the end of August. So by the time we complete this, three quarters of the year will be done. But we want to advance you forward in your skill development by taking you through all 21 steps of the Mike Ferry sales system. Now, if you've been around a while, you know that we say you have to manage your time, you have to prospect, you have to do lead follow-up, obviously, you have to pre-qualify, go on listing presentations, show property to buyers, you have to obviously be good at handling objections, you have to understand the process of closing the sale, negotiating, and then the hard part starting all over each week and each day. What we're going to do is not only take you through the initial 10, 11 steps, but we're going to take you through the next 10 to 11 steps which are the ones we focus on and concentrate on with all the top producers in North America. So rather than just lay down the basic fundamentals and foundation for you, which we're going to do each week, I want to add to that because I want to open up the opportunity, open up your eyes, open up your thought process, the fact that, you know what, if you learn this stuff, if you do the things we say, in two or three years, you could be not only an incredibly productive salesperson, but one of the best salespeople in your marketplace. And it can happen to you, but there's a lot to learn, a lot to do. So this will be one of the few times that I'm gonna recommend as you watch Mike Ferry TV each week, that you actually watch this particular program each day this week until we get to next week, and then you'll watch the next segment each day this week and continue because there's gonna be a tremendous amount of information for you to learn. I don't want you to miss one week. Well, Mike, I'm, I'm going on vacation, then have somebody record it for you. Um, I, I, I got sick. You can, you're not gonna be sick for seven days. It plays for seven days, watch it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to start today with something that will help you see the possibilities, help you see what your future is going to be like help you see what you could do and accomplish. Here we are, April 1st. About 90 days ago, I asked all of our 60 coaches to do the following for me. And then I asked all of our coaching clients to do the following. I said, anybody that has closed 50 or more transactions last year, or going to close 50 or more this year, send me your name and what your number is that you're gonna close this year. Anybody that closed 50 or more, or is going to close 50 or more, I want name and number. I want to try to figure out not only what that number is these great agents are doing, so we can give you a specific number to target towards to be a superstar. And at the same time, I wanted to look at what were the qualities and characteristics of this group. Well, between our coaches and our clients, we received, I'm gonna give you the exact numbers here, 589 of our coaching clients, 589 of our coaching clients are going to close this year in 2013 and are on track to do it. In fact, a lot of them are on track to do way more than 50. I mean, way more than 50. 589 are going to do this year, listen to this, a total of 52,421 closed transactions or to be very, very specific, they're going to average 89 transactions per person in this group. If you're a broker, an owner, a manager, wouldn't that be a great office? Wouldn't that be a great company? As an agent, I want you to just focus right now for a minute. What is your goal for 2013? 
What is realistic? Are you going to do 5, 10, 12, 15 transactions? Whatever that number is, that's great. But this group's going to average 89 transactions per person. That's awfully good production. Now, I'm going to look at two things today with you on this particular series. I'm going to look at what that means financially, and then I'm going to look at what they do to make that happen. Or in essence, what my view is of these great people. Because see, my belief is, and I've always felt this way, if somebody else is doing this, and we can identify what it is, we can do it ourselves. As long as you have the motivation, the desire to go out and perform. I don't think any one of you would ever say to me, to my face, Mike, I really don't want to earn a lot of money. I don't want to do a lot of deals. I don't think you're going to say that. Just the opposite. I want to earn more money. I want to do more deals. Now, let's take a different approach. There has never been a better time than April 2013 for you to go out and make a lot of money in real estate. Everything is working in your favor. Watch. Interest rates are low. Inventory is low. Prices are low. Huge amount of buyers in the marketplace. The lenders have money to lend. The appraisers are playing nice. This is your time to go out and do something spectacular between April 1st and the end of this year and during this series from April to August to learn what it takes to make that happen. My definition of a superstar? Person doing 50 or more transactions per year but my definition for the last probably 25 years. Some of your definition is to do more than five transactions in a year because that might make you the top agent in your office. Isn't that pathetic? So we want to build you, build your confidence, build your knowledge, build your power, build your base. So watch this. These 589 agents are going to do 52,000 transactions. And let's be very under-optimistic and let's say their average commission check is only $5,000 per. And I'm going to tell you right now, I will tell you, their average commission check is substantially more than $5,000 per. But at $5,000 per, they're going to earn this year $262 million in gross commissions. And that is a staggering figure. They're going to earn a quarter of a billion dollars in commissions, or they're going to average, listen carefully, they're going to average $445,000 per person. $445,000. Okay, just take a breath, close your eyes, and this year you're given $445,000. Does that put a smile on your face? Does that make you a little happier in terms of who you are and what you do? Does that change your lifestyle and what you can accomplish? I think the answer is yes. Now, the people doing 50 transactions exactly out of our 589 are going to order a quarter of a million dollars. But there is a big stack of that 589 that are going to earn 750, and there's another big stack that will earn 1.5 million. I want you to get to a number substantially more than you've ever been to before. So what I did and what I want to do today is I want to look at you and say, what are some of the habits? that they have in common. Because if you and I can develop the same habits they have, guess what? We're going to be a lot better off now than we were in the past. So I've identified seven particular habits that these people have in common that are doing over 50 transactions per year. Number one, they are highly disciplined. Highly disciplined. Next week when we talk about time management, you'll see the key to time management is the discipline you have to do your job a certain way every single day. Biggest problem in real estate, you're independent contractors. Nobody can tell you what to do. Because of that, if you don't show up, it's okay. If you do show up, it's okay. You've got to develop the time management skills. Well, now watch it. That requires discipline. So here's what I wrote down. The primary reason I see agents every day with low productivity, having negative cash flow, being terribly frustrated in the business, Quitting coaching that we offer them, being angry with themselves and the world, is a lack of discipline as to what they have to say and what they have to do every day. On a scale from 1 to 10, how disciplined are you? Number two, they're masters of the morning schedule. 
you're going to learn starting next week that the morning schedule between the time you get up and noon is the critical part of the day. That's what makes a top producer. And don't kid yourself. Top producers are not top producers because they get up at 11, start to work about 2, and work till midnight. That's not what top producers do. They're masters of the morning schedule. So I wrote down, from the time they get up and go to the office to the, till noon, they work extremely hard at controlling their time, controlling their environment, and the productive activities they're involved in because these production activities affect the entire day. Number three, they're master presenters. We're going to talk a lot about that over the course of the next 21 weeks. Master presenters. They know how to present themselves. Not only in terms of how they look, but what they say. They know how to say it in a manner, in a fashion, or a style that gets a response. Master presenters are masters of their scripts and dialogues. They know what to say to get the response they want. Number four, they're experts at asking questions. If you're new to Mike Ferry TV, and we have now 10,000 plus viewers per week, so we're always getting some new people. If you're new to this, then you know and I know that selling by definition is asking questions. So what I wrote down is, since selling is nothing more than asking questions, we have to help you discover that by asking questions you find the needs and desires of the prospect you're talking to. Talking excessively is not part of the professional sales process. Asking questions is the sales process. Number five, they average between 70 and 75% of the listings they take sell. And in this market, they're probably averaging 95%. But they also average 70 to 75% of the time when they make a listing presentation, they get a contract signed. NAR states that the average agent takes listings 22% of the time. You go on 100 presentations, you take 22 listings. These agents go on 100 presentations, they take 70 to 75 listings. Why? Because they're masters of the presentation. Number six, they're students of understanding personality styles. We're going to talk about that during our series, understanding personality styles. Because see, guys and gals, it's our ability to adapt to all the people we talk to that makes us great not letting them or ask them to adapt to us. And number seven, they are fanatical about the customer service that they offer. Fanatical on the customer service. So I look and say to myself, there probably is 150 things they do right. I've identified seven. But over the course of the next 21 weeks after today, we're going to look at all 21 steps that build the foundation for a great salesperson. Now, here's the catch. Don't quit. Don't quit on your customer. Don't quit on your prospect. And don't quit on yourself. But Mike, I don't always like the things you ask me to do. Fine, don't quit. Let's see if you can go through all 21 to 22 weeks and make this work for you. Each week, I'm going to give you a homework assignment that is designed to help you be more productive. So you're going to love today's homework assignment. Okay, on the screen you can click as soon as I finish in a minute and that will allow you to then register for a free coaching evaluation call with one of my team. We've got a great team of people. They're going to ask you 10, 12, 15 questions to see if you should go further with what we offer than what you watch each week with us. I'm excited about the next 21 weeks taking you through the Mike Ferry sales system. Each week I'm going to give you four or five specific things that you can do to enhance that particular topic. Don't quit. Don't stop. Don't let up on yourself. See you next week.